Hey, what's up guys? How you guys doing? Robbie Fossil's back. Good to see you guys. Hope you guys are having a good day. Miss you guys. Love you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. And today I got a very special video. Um, Grand Theft Auto Vice City review for the PlayStation 2. Now this is not the definitive edition. This is the actual PlayStation 2 version. <coughs> I don't have the original Xbox version. I do have it also on my iPad Pro. But, and I also have it on my iPhone, so, yeah, so, and, and my dad's iPhone, and my, and I don't have it on my mom's iPhone, but, anyway, um, yeah, so let's get right into the video and meat and potatoes of this video of this game, the review. So let's start. So Grand Theft Auto Vice City, you've been in jail for 15 or 20 years by... The Sonny Ferrelli gang, Mafia, they were pretty big in Liberty City. Tommy Versetti got, just got out of jail for 15 years in Liberty City. And he went to Vice City for a drug exchange. And it all went downhill after that. DS men just crashed the party. And then everything went downhill. Um, DS killed. Victor Vance, Lance Vance, Lance Vance's brother, you meet Lance Vance, and then, um, yeah, so he helps you out in this whole game, and then he, um, yeah, he, he helps you out throughout the game, he makes, makes you meet new people to join your faction, to take out the Diaz guy, and then after that, when you, when, when, when you find out, when you find out, that Sonny Ferrelli was the one that betrays you for this whole thing that went down in Vice City. He's actually the guy behind all this. Yeah, so Lance Vance betrays uh, Tommy Versetti, the main protagonist, and then you have to kill Tommy and Sonny Ferrelli. So, spoiler alert, that's what happens at the end. Now, <coughs> that's, um, your main helper in this, uh, your true best friend in this whole game is some, some lawyer named Ken Rosenberg, Ken Rosenberg, some lawyer, you'll see him in San Andreas, in the Las Vegas area, so, but Ken Rosenberg is your true friend in this game, he helps you out in Vice City, so yeah, we can't wait for Grand Theft Auto 6 and Grand Theft Auto and for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and um, PC, this generation of consoles and, and gaming. So anyway, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, you you get to do a lot of things. You you have more access to more boats. This time, flying machines like helicopters and airplanes like seaplanes and helicopters mainly but I wouldn't say airplanes or jet private jets that comes in San Andreas but yeah you get airplanes and seaplanes and and um what's that word helicopters mainly like a military helicopter and a police helicopter and just a news reporter helicopter, and that's it. And a regular helicopter. And that's about it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And you get more, uh, you get access, this is the first GT with motorcycles. First GT where you can jump out of moving vehicles. First GT where you can change out of your clothes. And apparel. First GT to buy property and businesses, and it corresponds with the storyline. And makes you get protection money. It makes you um, wealthier actually in the game. And uh, yeah, corresponds with the storyline to taking over Vice City. And this is the only GTA game in history where you can buy housing and part and all and housing and some property buying, where you can buy houses and live in it and save your game in it. So yeah. And yes, yeah, so pretty much. This is the first GTA to do it all. Vice City, one of the most important GTA games ever. Now, 
Let's talk about the graphics, because this was one of the best looking games on the PlayStation 2. It looked better than San Andreas and Grand Theft Auto 3. So the graphics are pretty darn good. The neon lights in uh, the city, uh, the gleaming effect on the screen, and the sunlight, the glistening light of this reflection of the cars. Like, the, the world is very lively. Yeah, so pretty much, yeah, it's pretty much a lively game. And a very neon bright game. So it looks pretty, actually, lighting and pretty wise. The lighting and text work and the environments look good. So pretty much it looks good. But I'll give the graphics a 7, but it, I will say it's like the 98 best looking game on the PlayStation 2. But I won't say it's the most. Like Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater, or God of War, or God of War 2. Or Final Fantasy X. Those games look better, but... Yeah, anyway. Grand Turismo 3 or 4. Those games look better. And some Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Or, yeah, those games look a lot better. But this game doesn't look that bad. But anyway. Graphics are good. Let's talk about the gameplay. The gameplay has been enhanced from GTA 3. Even though you get to go in first person mode. And shooting assault rifles. Which is, can be a little annoying so it misses all your shots and the guns have too much recall and so solid rifles that's why you always gotta tangle up with um, submachine guns like the MAC-10 or the OZ or the um, MP5 to get the shots in or a uh, python called python or or a, um, a pistol or 9mm pistol or a spaz 12 shotgun or a rocket launcher. But anyway, those guns, those guns have better aiming precision than the assault rifles. But the assault rifles, I will say, is good for taking out cars and longer distant targets. But they're pretty decent. So the gameplay is good. And you can move out of moving cars. You can shoot out of tires. This was the first GTA game where you can. Well, I don't know. I think it was the first GTA game where you can um, shoot out of tires. So, I don't know if Grand Theft Auto 3 also had that as well, but I think it didn't. But anyway, yeah, so the targeting is a lot better. The gameplay is a lot better. And it, it just feels more redefined in Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Now, let's talk about the storyline. The storyline, so the gameplay gets a 9. And the graphics is a 7. The visuals is a 7, graphics, and 9 for gameplay. Let's talk about the storyline. I explained to you the storyline. The storyline gets a 9. Now let's talk about the sound effects. The sound effects is really good. The voice acting is really good. Rated Ray Liotta is the main protagonist with the voice actor. He sounds good. He sounds genuine. And... All the side characters doesn't sound bad either. They sound pretty genuine as well. So the voice acting gets a nine. Now the gra now the uh, let's talk about the sound effects for the guns. The gun sound effects can sound like a little bit like toys, but yeah, so it can be a little bit sound like a little bit like toys, but they sound pretty realistic. So say they sound good. So it gets an eight out of ten. Uh. So now let's talk about replay value. The replay value of this game, collecting all the collectibles, doing side missions, doing the main missions, and doing collectible car missions and whatnot, and and stun jumps missions. Yeah, it's replay value. So I think the completionist said the same thing. This game has. The, one of the most best replay value games out there and on the PlayStation 2. It's just, just a, it's, it, you don't need the multiplayer for this game. It doesn't need that. But it could have mods on the PC. But anyway, yeah, so, so anyway, um, <coughs> the replay value, I would say it's really good. So it gets a 10 out of 10. So will I recommend this game in 2022? Now, if I were you, don't get the definitive edition. I play. I played it through it. It's a lot worse than the original. Uh, the physics are a lot worse. The graphics are a lot worse. 
it just doesn't look good, man. But the original is a lot better. It is. It looks better in my opinion than the original, than the definitive edition. It plays better. So if I were you, if you haven't played Vice City yet, this was a first GTA game to do it all. If if I were you, just get this game and play it, just for the storyline wise and for the for the replay value. But other than that, if you missed out on it, uh, if I were you, I would play GTA 4 and GTA 5 to catch up what what GTA 6 is gonna be about. But anyway, if you haven't pl but if you haven't played this game, and you want to know more about Vice City, then get it, cause GTA 6 is gonna be in Vice City, so you should you should get this game. If you're a GTA fan, you're, if you're a GTA fan, you're gonna love Vice City. So get it. Uh, my recommendation to get it. This game gets a 10 out of 10, one of the best games I ever played. A classic, and I recommend it. Anyway, love you guys. Stay safe. Stay bright. Stay beautiful out there. I'll see you in my next video, and um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the bell icon for more videos, I post video games daily, um, get notified for more videos when you hit the bell icon, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave a like, comment, and sub, and I'll see you later in my next video, take care guys, bye.